We have a brand new action thriller starring Dev Patel, who's making his directorial debut, but he's also credited for the story. Now, the question is, is this a must-see action film in theaters? But also, does Dev Patel have a nice, bright future ahead of him as far as directing is concerned? Well, we'll be discussing that and much more in today's spoiler-free review of Monkey Man. But first, let's get the conversation going in the comments below. Do you all plan on checking this out in theaters? But of course, once you've seen it, let's talk about the things that you enjoyed or things that didn't work for you in this film. What did you think about the story, the performances, the action? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. So first off, I want to apologize if I sound a little drowsy or you can't really hear me that much. I'm going to try to turn up the audio and the editing process. But your boy is dealing with a pretty serious sinus infection. But that sinus affection will not stop me from talking about this movie with you all today. So let's get into this review. So like a lot of you all, I'm a big fan of Dev Patel, the actor, but I'm also a big fan of action films. So this was just like a perfect match for me. And I was on board with the conversations of him being the next Bond. But let's talk about this movie and talk about him making what I consider to be one of the most exhilarating and entertaining and inspiring directorial debuts that I've seen in recent memory. From the opening sequence to the last shot in this film, you can see that this was 100% a labor of love and a straight up passion project through and through. The filmmaking is infused with such heart and the story has depth and is fundamentally unique and injected with culture. I love Dev's direction and how much time he spent in really diving deep into his culture and the mythos of the monkey man and how he ties it into the story of revenge but it's also a beautiful story about faith all while managing to give you an extremely entertaining and brutal action movie. So as I mentioned earlier, does he have a career ahead of him as far as directing concerned? And the answer is 1000% yes. He is such a great director. I am so excited to see what he does next, whether that's an action film because the man's got the juice when it comes to directing and also the penmanship in the story. Very impressed by Dev Patel. But let's pivot and talk a little bit about these performances as I thought that they were engaging across the board. There was a really solid and great supporting characters that felt necessary to each new element of the story being told. The film has a really solid villain who you really love to hate and a really unexpected group of badasses that make their presence felt in the second half of the film that I really enjoyed. And of course, Dev's performance was stellar, but what I really was impressed by was the physicality in the role and the belief in him that he can actually pull off these action-heavy scenes and make them feel very believable. And the emotional aspect of his character's backstory with his mother and how he portrays the side of his character was so well done. Now, as an action fan, let's talk a little bit about this action. Now, while it's getting the comparisons to John Wick, and I completely understand that, and the film actually has a name drop of John Wick in the movie. And listen, I love the John Wick movies, but as those films have come along, they've kind of lost a little bit of reality, and the story isn't as in-depth, and nor does it need to be, but the credit to this film, the action feels a bit more grounded and rooted in realism. But to go back to John Wick, just like Wick, who takes his bumps and bruises along the way, that same thing happens to this main character. He doesn't win every fight. He gets beaten up. And I love that we get to see that element of the character, especially when we get these creative montages showing you training as he's preparing to get his revenge. But to speak a little bit more on the action, it takes a bit to really get the first big action set piece. But when it comes, it grabs you and it doesn't let you go. It is visceral. It is bloody. And the choreographed fights are just incredible. That first big action sequence is thrilling, but the last one is nothing short of breath taken there's a scene that takes place kind of later in the film that's in an elevator and it involves a knife in someone's throat and it is so brutal it reminded me a little bit of like the raid as far as like the brutality in those fights again if you're an action fan like me the action does not disappoint but again, I can't stress enough about how much this film takes its time and builds into the actual heart of the story. It brings in a very compelling idea to this mythology of the monkey man, all while touching on themes of trauma, revenge, fighting for the voiceless. It's just a layered movie while still being extremely entertaining. But I also can't forget to mention the use of the music and the score being a big part of the tone and the mood and the emotional beats that it plays into. It's such an energy to this film. Like This film feels alive. The editing's really 
really fast paced. Like this is a film that has a heart to it, which I really appreciate it. But it doesn't come with all its flaws. Let's transition and talk about my criticisms here. As I mentioned, it takes a little bit to get things going. As the movie throws you right into the situation where our character is getting some intel on some very important people. And as we watch him work his way through the situation, and it's not that it's poorly executed, but it's just not as exciting or as interesting as what follows after the 20 minute mark of this film. Now sticking to the point of when the film kind of slows down at points, once we get our action set piece, like our first one, which is incredible, the film kind of takes a step back and slows down the pacing department. And while it's slowing down, it's still building on the story, giving you a little bit more backstory of our main character. But we also meet a group of people who become very important later in the film. But then the film decides to kind of lean a little bit more heavily on the political plot that was almost really kind of in the background in the first half of the film, but then it becomes a major part in the second half. And those political elements didn't really fit entirely, nor did it really work for me. Like I felt the film had a good enough villain already who's this cop figure who you really hate in this movie. And again, that's just great acting on their part and great storytelling. But then he's working for another big bad. And while I understand the point of the big bad and what they were going for, it just wasn't as fleshed out. And this is just a nitpick, but as we get towards the big third act and we get to like this raid level judge dread where our character has to go level to level to get the big boss there's like this trope that every action movie has this where like all of a sudden the henchmen while they have guns throughout the entire movie now all of a sudden they have like knives instead of for guns and as our characters going further and further up closer and closer to the boss you would think especially when you see the film there's like a big event going on the security wasn't that high level as you would think and also when they get to a certain point you're like where are the guards so that's a nitpick again my biggest thing was I just wish certain elements would just flesh out a little bit more so those are my pros those are my cons before I give you all my overall thoughts and let you know if this film is worth checking out I want to take this time to thank you all for making it to this point in the review if you haven't already consider hitting the like button sharing your thoughts in the comments while also sharing this video but also consider sticking around and subscribing to the channel overall monkey man is an action-packed adrenaline rush with intense sequences that are composed with such ferocity the filmmaking feels alive and has frenetic energy that keeps you guessing what's going to happen next with that being said i love the passion behind this film and having a story that doesn't shy away about his culture and his country this to me is inspiring filmmaking and is a must-see film in my opinion i'm gonna give monkey man a four out of five so as i'm recording this the film is in theaters this weekend i really recommend you all check it out and when you do let's talk about it in the comments pros cons favorite moments do you want to see more from dev patel as a director because i certainly do let's have all those conversations in the comments below again send me some positive vibes that i can feel better sooner rather than later but i appreciate you guys sticking around with me so far but either way that's going to be the end of this video again consider liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel you're all the awesome and i'll catch you all on the next video